Shauna share some more of your wisdom with us and how to incorporate more mindfulness into our daily lives? Yeah, well, it's interesting as you were sharing um, the importance of not just having the food we eat, but how we eat it and the rest of our lives yeah. and how we're thinking. Um, it reminded me of a really important teaching in mindfulness, and um, that's, that's completely substantiated by neuroscience, which mm-hmm. is what you practice grows stronger. Mm-hmm. So what you practice grows stronger. We know this now with neuroplasticity. Our repeated experiences shape our brain. Mm-hmm. So we can actually sculpt and strengthen our synaptic connections based on repeated practice. What you practice grows stronger. So if I'm practicing negative thoughts, they're growing stronger. Mm-hmm. If I'm practicing eating in a really stressed out way where I'm frustrated with myself or I'm impatient or I'm talking on the phone and driving, those, those neural pathways are getting stronger. And so with a cleanse, what we're trying to do is restructure and kind of recalibrate our entire system. So we're changing the foods we eat, mm-hmm. we're changing the way we relate to the foods we eat, mm-hmm. and we're changing the way we relate to ourselves, how we treat ourselves, how we talk to ourselves, how we view ourselves. Mm-hmm. And over time, repeated practice strengthens these new neural pathways. So I like to think of it as like we have these super highways of judgment or shame or um, criticism. And now we're kind of building these little country roads of patience or compassion or kindness. Mm -hmm. And what mindfulness does is it allows us to first start to see clearly where we're harming ourselves, where we're making choices that don't serve us. And it gives us kind of this freedom to choose differently to choose to start digging out this country road instead of just going down that automatic highway. Mm -hmm. 